In this demo, I'm going to create a new Azure AD web application registration using the Azure AD Admin Center and a .NET Core console application. And I'm going to use these to submit queries to Microsoft Graph. I'm going to start by launching the, the browser, navigating to the Azure AD Admin Center at aad.portal.azure.com. Now in the left-hand menu, I'm going to select the Azure AD um, icon, and then I'm going to choose from the Manage section, App Registrations. On the App Registration page, I'm going to select New Registration, and on the Register and Application page, I'm going to create a new Graph app. So it's going to be called the Graph Console app. And for the supported account types, I'm going to leave it set to the single tenant. And then I'm going to select Register. Now there's a few values that you see here on this overview page that you're going to want to keep track of uh, for your application that we're going to need later. So I'm going to launch uh, Visual Studio Code just to act as a little uh, notepad for myself. I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to copy the application ID And I'm going to save these three values, the application ID. I'm going to also grab the tenant ID. Now, the next thing I need to do is I need to set up uh, a platform configuration. So I'm going to select authentication from the menu and I'm going to add a platform. And because we're building a console app, I'm going to choose a mobile and desktop applications. And in the redirect URI section, I'm going to choose the native client uh, and then select the configure button. Now, in addition, I'm going to scroll down a little bit farther and I'm going to select on for the public flows or the public public client flows. I'm going to select yes for uh, allowing uh, mobile and desktop flows. Um, this is going to allow us to use the resource owner password credential flow, which is just a very simplified way uh, for us to handle authentication as we want to focus on the actual Microsoft Graph piece to this and not so much uh, all the details around creating different, um, supporting different OAuth flows and different access options we have with Azure Active Directory. So then I'll go ahead and select save. Now let's create an app secret for our uh, Azure AD app. So I'm gonna select client secrets or certificates and secrets. I'm gonna select a new client secret and then I'm just gonna leave the default options and select add. You see here that we're displayed the um, secret that was generated for us or you can also think of it as a password. Um, this value is only gonna be shown one time. So if I leave this page and come back, it will never be shown again. So I'm gonna create a copy of it and I'm gonna store that right here uh, in my, on my desktop. Uh, just for us to use later within our application. All right, now I need to go add a permission for our application. Now we're gonna add an application permission. So I'm gonna go to the API permissions and I'm going to add a permission. And the permission we're gonna add is a Microsoft Graph application permission that you see listed over here. And I'm gonna find the permission user.read.all. And go ahead and add that and say add permissions. Now, notice it says not granted. I'm gonna go ahead and grant uh, select this grant admin consent uh, for our application and then select yes. So we have our application permission all set up. Okay, now it's time for us to go create our application. 